on the Red Horse Ranch. It's a big day at the rodeo. Both Alabama foreman of the Red Horse Ranch and Steve Bradford from the Bar D have entered their horses in the first race. The winner of that race will get to run in the final race of the rodeo. We find the boys singing for the crowd, which has already gathered at the rodeo grounds for this event. Yes, boys. Now give your attention. Now the Red Horse boys are going to sing again for you, and they're going to sing his trademark. A cowboy ain't no dandy When it comes to wearing clothes But when he comes to the city He goes as the other folks go But there's just two things he's a-wearing From which he never scoots He'll stick to his old sombrero, he'll stick to his high heel boots. He'll tackle a strangle and collar that's hitched to a stiff oil shirt. He'll discard his chaps and his gauntlets and wash off the prairie dirt. But he'll hang to two possessions, the folks turn up their snoots. He'll stick to his old sombrero, he'll stick to his high heel boots. Oh yes, he's a queerish mixture, when in from the range he strays, and puts on the town man's toggins, and copies the town man's ways. But when to the town he's a-coming, to mix with the dude recruit, he sticks to his old sombrero. He sticks to his high heel boots. Yeah, 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 is Rose. the race about ready to start? In just a few minutes now, Rose. Oh, you is over there keeping his high on red for me. Say, have you seen Steve Bradford's horse? Well, uh, yes, Bradford brought him in on the track here a minute ago. He'll give Red the real race, but. <laughs> I'm not worrying none. Well, that's good. Is Idaho in this race today, Alabama? No, Idaho's in tomorrow. Oh, and then see. later on come the finals mm -hmm. with that $500 saddle for the prize. Oh, boy. <laughs> it seems too bad, though, that you had to be matched against Bradford's horse in the preliminary. One of you'll have to lose out. And this is only Red's first race. Well, don't let that bother you, Rose. It's the least of my worries. I've been training Red now for a long time. I know. You say Dewey is watching Red for you? Yeah, right over there with the rest of the horses. Oh, see? I want to see him, Alabama. Will it be all right? Oh, sure. Come along. We'll go Let's there go right over now. There.
shirt that gets them. Arizona, what are you waiting for? Come on up here with that guitar. All right, partners, here's the Red Horse outfit singing Lone Drifting Rider. If you'll gather round me, I'll sing you a song of a lone drifting rider just rolling along. His spurs, they are sad, and he's drifting on high. He'll quit punching cattle when his time comes to die. You ask me, fair lady, who was that passing by? It's a lone drifting rider just rolling on high. They call him Red Conklin, he's named that for sure. And that drinking whiskey, he's good for a quart. He married Dolores from old Mexico and turned to dry farming, but the dirt crops wouldn't grow. He rolled up one morning and left Dolores flat and said, I'm a cowboy, I've had enough of that. So girls, all come listen and don't ask me why. Beware of the cowboys that go drifting by. They'll love and caress you, they win you somehow. Then ride off and leave you if ever you fly. It's about time for that race to start, ain't it? Yeah, they'll be out on the racetrack before long. By golly, I sure hope nothing happens to keep Red from winning that race today. What do you mean, nothing happens, Idaho? Well, I don't know, but that Bradford sure been making a lot of bets on his winning the race. Hey, you fella talk like horse racing was all there was at this rodeo. Yeah. There's some steer riding, too, you know. Yes, Arizona, and you'd better pick out a nice soft spot out there to land when one of them longhorns begin to tear up thunder with you. Yeah, you'll grab for the horn of the saddle and pick up a handful of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Shucks, I ain't using no saddle to ride a steer. A sir single's good enough for me. Hey, boys, you ain't none, and you keep that away. Now, come on up here and give the crowd some more music. Well, we was kind of saving some of our energy for the riding tomorrow. Well, you can show them how you're going to ride right now. Get a straddle of that bull fiddle, Idaho, and let's go! Come on. <laughs> Thank you. 
clearing off the track. Must be about ready to start the race. Yeah, sure enough. Say, let's get down and talk to Alabama a minute. Come on, Mr. Carter, let's go. Yeah, there's Alabama and Rose and Dooley down there talking to Red now. I see someone else down there, too. That ornery Steve Bradford. Well, that's a mighty good horse Bradford has there. Uh, he's not in Red's class, though. Well, hello, partners. Come down to see me win this race, huh? <laughs> you know, I've been trying to lay a little side bet here with Alabama. But he don't seem to have much confidence in his horse. Any of you fellas interested in the bet? Seems you've got a lot of money to throw away, Bradford. Well, <laughs> well, Alabama, uh, everything all right? Yeah, Mr. Carter, except that Red's acting kind of skittish. It must be the crowd. Yes, but he didn't act right that way before, did he, Alabama? Well, don't worry none, Rose. I Red can't... will do just what I say. Whoa, now. I better tighten these cinches a little, I guess. Wait a minute, Red. What's ailing your boy? It's only Alabama. All right, get the horses out oh, the on the track there. All right, good luck to you, Alabama. You win. Well, uh, thanks, boys. Let's go, Red. Better watch out you don't get dizzy and fall off that horse, Alabama. <laughs> well, let's go, beauty. I'd give my shafts to know what Bradford's got up his sleeve. Oh, isn't that strange, though? Alabama's never had any trouble with Red before. Well, looks like Alabama's got control of him now. They're getting lined up pretty well. Yeah, let's get over where you can see the star. He's about ready to fire the gun. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> There's the gun. They're off. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, Red. Come on. Red boys. Where's Alabama's boss? I can't tell. They're all going to shut bar. I see him. There he is. Wait till they get on the home stretch. Then he'll show them. Bradford's riding up there nice, though. Say, seems to me Alabama ain't doing so good. Why, Red's broken clear out of line. Can't Alabama handle it? He's going plumb wild. Why, I look for something like that. Red's throat Alabama plumb out of the saddle. Why, there's something wrong with that horse. He never kicked like that before. Well, there's Alabama picking us up off the ground. He must be all right. Yeah, he's out of the race, though. And Bradford's riding in the lead. Oh, Alabama. That was a disappointment, wasn't it? But we have an idea. Alabama's horse had a reason for his strange actions. We'd better listen when the folks from Red Horse Ranch are again on the air. <laughs> 